Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet Easter eggs. The materials you'll need for this project include some polyfill. You'll need either lightweight 3 to medium 4 worsted weight yarn. Um, I'm going to be using medium 4 worsted weight yarn for this tutorial. You will also need scissors, a 4.25 to, to 4.5 millimeter hook, and a tapestry needle. Now, as I said, you can use different weight yarns for this tutorial. You can use a lightweight three, you can use a medium four worsted weight yarn. Um, the difference will be a difference in size. If you use lightweight three yarn, you will end up with a small Easter egg. It is roughly about three inches from top to bottom. If you use medium four worsted weight yarn, you're going to end up with a bigger Easter egg like this, and it is roughly four inches from top to bottom, but definitely in diameter, much bigger around, bigger egg overall. You can start this project in two ways. You can do the chaining method where you chain three to four chains and then slip stitch your first and your last chains together to form a ring and then start crocheting into the ring. Or you can use the magic circle, which is what I like to use. I'm going to start this project by doing the magic circle. So to do that, I am going to lay the yarn over my fingers, wrap over these two, make an X, pull my fingers out, pull down, and then put my hook through here. I know I went through that a little quickly. If you would like, I do have a slower video on how to do the magic ring that I will put a link in for you. Now what I want to do is I want to chain one. And in a lot of cases, this beginning starting chain would usually start as a stitch. In this case, it does not. It does not count as a stitch. I am now going to work seven single crochets into the ring. One. Two. Three. four, five, six, and seven. So if you use the magic ring, this is what it would look at, like at this point. So what I want you to do is take your loose tail, cinch it up, and I want you to slip stitch to the first stitch right here. Okay, and that is what round one should look like. Okay. At this point, it looks like we have eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But remember that this is the slip stitch. And usually in traditional crochet in the round, you would skip over the slip stitch and you would only work into your actual stitches, which would be seven stitches here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. However, I have found with this pattern, it works best if you actually skip your first actual stitch and you do work into the slip stitch. So you would skip here and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let me show you why. When you do it traditionally, you'll end up with an egg that has this ridge all the way up, okay? This is where you're joining, okay? And though most of the egg looks great, you will have this ridge that comes all the way up. So you can do it traditionally, you will just have that. If you do it the way that I'm going to do it, where you're skipping the first stitch and working into that slip stitch, you're not going to have that ridge, okay? You'll have this sort of minor indentation here, but it's not bad at all, and it's hardly even noticeable. You wouldn't even notice it if I didn't point it out, okay? Which is why I've chosen to do it this way, so that I can avoid this ridge here. So for round two, we want to chain one, and then we're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around, skipping the first stitch, 
and working into the slip stitch. We're going to skip and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Well, now at this point what you have left is your slip stitch and this is your chain one that started round two. You're going to go ahead and put two single crochets into your slip stitch. Now to make this easier for you, you can place a stitch marker into your slip stitch or perhaps even into your chain one just to mark your placing here. Um, you can do that every round. That'll help you as you get to this area to know where your stitches are. I've done this enough to where I know that I can, what I need to do when I get to this area. But if you are completely new to this, it might be helpful just to put a stitch marker here or here to mark your place. We are going to go ahead and put two single crochets into the slip stitch. And that'll make 13 and 14. To close up round two, we are going to skip over the chain and we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch. Now at this point, you should have 14 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, plus your slip stitch, okay? And just like we did for round two, we're gonna start round three with a chain one, and we are going to skip over the first single crochet right here. And it's kind of easy to do because you'll find that your chain one actually a lot of time covers that first stitch. So sometimes it gets missed anyways. So I think it's just better to go ahead and skip it. And you're gonna count this slip stitch as your 14th stitch. So now it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 and your slip stitch will count as your 14th stitch. Okay, so for round three, we've chained one. And now what we're going to do is we are going to work one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet, two single crochets, all the way around, okay? So we are gonna go one, make sure we get both loops here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and here we are back to our slip stitch and our chain one. And we're gonna go ahead and place two single crochets in our slip stitch because it is counting as a stitch for us. This would be 20, and 21. So you should have 
21 stitches at this point all the way around. We are going to skip over the chain stitch and we're going to we're going to skip over the chain stitch and we're going to work a slip stitch into the first stitch here to close. All right, and that is round three. To start round four, we are going to chain one. And now, and now what we're going to do is place one single crochet in every stitch around, including our slip stitch here, skipping our first stitch. This little guy right here is the first stitch. Remember I said that the chain one often covers it. It's right here. So we are gonna skip it. We're gonna place one single crochet in every stitch around, including the slip stitch. So our stitch count should remain at 21. And we're gonna actually do this for rounds four through seven. Let's start round four just so you can see what it looks like. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what you're going to kind of notice is that your, your um, project is going to start to kind of pull up. Okay. It's going to start to kind of curl up. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and we are back to our slip stitch and our chain one. We remember our slip stitch in this case counts as a stitch, so we are gonna put our 21st single crochet right there. Okay, we are now already forming a bowl. We are gonna skip over the chain one and we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch. Okay, and we are going to start round five. Rounds five through seven, so the next three rounds are exactly like round four. It's chain one, single crochet all the way around. And as you do this, the bowl will get taller. And so sometimes it might get easier for you as you crochet if you flip the bowl the other direction. So it's like this as you crochet, okay? Um, it's entirely up to you. I have done eggs where I flipped the bowl and I've done eggs where I've left it exactly like this. It all depends on you and what's easier for you to work. But let's go ahead and do those next three rounds. Remember to skip over your first single crochet right here. The chain one should kind of cover that and to work into the slip stitch, okay? And you should have 21 single crochets when you're done with each round. Go all up to round seven and we'll come right back. Now we're gonna work round eight, which is an increase round. So we're gonna be going from 21 to 28 stitches. So to start round eight, we are going to chain one. Okay. We are gonna skip over the first stitch. We're gonna place one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets. One single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets. And we're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around. We're going to be skipping the first stitch and we are going to be working into the slip stitch, okay? So it's one single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. This is our slip stitch. This is our chain one. We're going to work 27 and 28 into the slip stitch. We're going to skip over the chain one and we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch to close it up. Okay, so for round nine, we want to keep 28 stitches, so we are not going to increase. We are going to chain one. We are going to skip over the first stitch, and we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, including the slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. We're going to place our 28th stitch into the slip stitch. 28. We are going to skip over the chain one and we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch to close. That was round nine. For round 10, we're going to start our first decrease round, okay? We are going to chain one, skip that first stitch, which is under here, and we're going to go backwards. We're going to go from 28 stitches back to 21. So you're going to go single crochet, single crochet, and then single crochet two together. And you're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around, being sure to work into your slip stitch, okay? One, two, single crochet together, these next two. So you're gonna go under the stitch, yarn over, pull through, under the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. That's a single crochet two together. So at this point, you should have one, two, three stitches. Four, five, we're gonna single crochet two together. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, this is eighteen, nineteen. 20. All right, and here we are at the end. And so 21 is actually going to be a single crochet two together. So you're going to single crochet this one and the slip stitch to get back to 21 stitches. You're going to skip the chain one and slip stitch into the first stitch to close. That was round 10. For round 11, you want to keep 21 stitches. So we are going to chain one. We are going to skip over that first stitch and we are going to place one single crochet in each stitch around, including the slip stitch. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and here we are back at our slip stitch, which is going to be where we're going to place our 21st stitch. You're going to skip over the chain one and we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to close. Now at this point, you can start stuffing your egg if you like. Um, what I would do since I flipped mine over is I would flip this back right here at this point and you want to kind of seal the bottom a little bit more, so take your extra bit of yarn here and give it a tug to seal it up some more. And then what I would do is I would go ahead and I would uh, thread this into a tapestry needle and close it off, but, uh, you weave, it, weave in the end so that it won't come undone for this so that I can just kind of um, keep going without having to show you how to weave in and bind off that particular end. It's just, you know, everyone should know how to bind off and weave in. If not, I do have a tutorial on how to do that. I can put in a link for you. I'm just going to kind of tuck it in there so I can kind of keep going and show you what to do next. I am not going to start stuffing right now. You can if you like. Um, it's entirely up to you. I do like to get it a little bit higher because it makes it easier for me to work with my fingers on the inside of the little bowl here. All right. For round 12, we are going to be making another decrease round. We are going to be going from 21 to 16 stitches. So let's start by making our chain one, okay, which covers our first stitch. So we're going to skip that one. We're going to go single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, two together. And we're going to follow that pattern all the way around. And we are going to work into our slip stitch, okay? one single crochet, 
two, and we are going to single crochet two together, the next two. That makes three, one, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, this is fifteen, and we are going to place our sixteenth stitch into the slip stitch. We are going to skip the chain stitch and we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch. Okay, For round 13 we want to keep 16 stitches so we are going to chain one, skip over that first stitch right there and we are going to place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around including the slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 and this is our slip stitch. We're going to work our 16th stitch into that. We are going to skip over the chain one and we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch to close. Now at this point I'm going to start stuffing and one thing you're going to notice here is actually this yarn ended up working out really really well. It is holding the egg shape pretty great I think. Um, I really I really like using a stiffer yarn so this one even though it was a little softer than the other one, the other egg that I had shown you with the multiple colors, um, it's actually turning out really really well. Okay so at this point I'm just going to kind of take off my hook and start stuffing. Okay. All right. So now it's kind of up to you how much you want to stuff into them. I don't like my eggs to be overstuffed because I feel like it starts to lose the egg shape. But when you are using the stiffer yarn, it's easier to add more stuffing without it losing that kind of that egg shape. It really holds the shape really, really well. Okay. So I've got some stuffing in here and I'm going to continue to stuff as we go. Um, but right now what we're going to do is we are going to make another decrease round. Okay, so for round 14 we are going to go from 16 stitches down to 12 stitches. Okay, and we are going to chain one to start the round. Again, skipping over that first single crochet that's going to kind of be covered by the chain one and we are going to work into the slip stitch. Now this is going to be a little bit harder to do because we have stuffing inside of it so it's a little bit harder. Hopefully I can show you nicely here how to do it. So we are going to go single crochet, single crochet, two single crochet together all the way around. Again working into that slip stitch and skipping the first stitch here. So let's see if I can get in here. Let's 
single crochet, single crochet, that's two, and then single crochet two together. Okay, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's nine, ten, here is eleven, okay, and we are back down to a final stitch and our slip stitch. We are going to single crochet those two together in order to make our 12th stitch, okay? So, and under the slip stitch, whoops, under the slip stitch, and there is our 12th stitch. Again, we are going to skip the chain one and we are going to single, or we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch to close, okay? So for round 15, we are going to keep that 12 single crochets around, so we are going to chain one. We are going to skip over the first single crochet because our, our chain one will be covering it. And we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around to include our slip stitch. Okay. Oh, we did chain one. Okay. One, two, three, and I'm kind of, as I'm doing this, I'm actually stuffing that stuffing further down so I can get clearly into each of my stitches. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And here we are, there's our slip stitch, our chain one and our first stitch. So we're gonna put our 12th stitch into the slip stitch. It's 12, we are gonna skip over the chain one and we are going to make a slip stitch into the first stitch to close. Okay, so now what you can see is we have a hole here at the top and like I said, I've been pushing the stuffing down so I can work into the stitches. It kind of gets a little hard if you're Keep pulling the stuffing out as you work, okay? So it is a little overstuffed here at the bottom. What I want to do now is I want to make another reduction. I wanna go another decrease. I'm gonna go from 12 down to six, okay? And the way I'm going to do this for round 16, I'm single crocheting. I am going to skip the first stitch. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna single crochet two, two together all the way around. So single crochet this one and this one together, this one and this one together, and I'm going to do that all the way around to include the slip stitch, okay? And we should end up with six stitches, okay? All right. It's a little challenging here. There's one. There's two, three, four, five, 
there's five. Okay, and we are back at the end here. This is a stitch, this is our slip stitch, and this is our chain one. So I'm going to single crochet two together, the last stitch and the slip stitch. All right, and that makes stitch number six. So now what you have is this tiny little hole here at the top, okay? So what I like to do at this point is I like to finish stuffing, okay? If you're gonna add more stuffing, this is the time to do it. If you're gonna leave it as it is, you can go ahead and fill up the hole, which I'm gonna show you how to do next, and then you can kind of just squish out your stuffing to kind of fill in the top, so it's entirely up to you. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more stuffing in, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Okay, so that I have some room to work. Let's see if I can stuff some more in there. Okay, and that should be enough here for the egg I want to do. Okay, so now at this point, the last thing you need to do is simply, I like to slip, simply stitch, slip stitch across. Usually, okay, you would be going over here somewhere. It's kind of hard to tell because we just have this hole and it's kind of smushed together and it's really tiny. So I usually just slip stitch this across to kind of close up the top, okay? And then take off your hook, pull out some extra yarn here to bind off. This is where you're going to need your scissors. Pull out the part that's attached to your skein or your ball. Okay, okay, thread the tapestry needle and then seal up your top, okay? Just, I like to go in any way that kind of makes it look nice and even on the top, okay? All right. My yarn is getting stuck here. Let's kind of give it a little more space on the needle. There we go. And I like to just kind of use it to seal up any little holes that there might be, just so it looks nice and even. All right. Make sure it's nicely sealed in, nicely weaved in so that it doesn't come undone. I like to pull it here, snip off your excess, and then just sort of Squish it around so that your egg looks the way that you want it to. Get that stuffing into the different areas, the different pockets that may be raining, that, that may be remaining. And there you have an Easter egg. <laughs>